In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a manual backup of a WordPress website that's on cPanel web hosting. So right here, I'm looking at one of my WordPress websites, which is on a cPanel web hosting account. And I'm going to quickly demonstrate the process that I go through whenever I want to create a manual backup. And when I say manual backup, I mean downloading two separate files, one of which is a database backup and the other of which is a zipped file containing all of the website's content. And I download those to the hard drive of my computer because when I do that, I can upload them onto any other web hosting I want that supports WordPress in the event that I have to change hosting. And so the first thing I'm going to do here is actually head to the back end of my WordPress website. And I went to the updates tab over here on the left. And so right now it looks like everything is up to date. And so I've also got this Lightspeed Cache plugin installed here. And this is a great free plugin that'll speed your website up a little bit and make it easier to manage the caching settings. And it only works if you're on a Lightspeed server, but that's a pretty popular server type these days. And so I'm just gonna hit purge all, which will clear the cache. And I just did that to check if there were any updates that it hadn't noticed yet because it hadn't refreshed recently enough. So it looks like there are no new updates. And that means I can go to my cPanel control panel and create the backup. So this is Web Hosting Canada's custom dashboard, and it has direct links to a lot of the cPanel tools from here. And so the two things that I need are going to be the file manager, which is where I'll back up the website files, and PHP my admin, which is where I will back up the database. And like I said, this is Web Hosting Canada's custom dashboard, but if I click on launch cPanel over here, then it opens this. And this is probably a little bit customized as well, but if you're on a cPanel web hosting account, it'll probably look something like this, or at the very least, you'll have the same types of options available. And so you can see if I go down to files here, we've got file manager. And if I go down to databases, we've got PHP my admin. So I'm just gonna middle mouse click on both of those to open them up in new tabs. And we'll start with the database in PHP my admin. Now, some web hosts will have an option where you can create a backup that is just one file. In fact, Web Hosting Canada does have that, but I prefer to do it manually. And when you're taking a manual backup on cPanel web hosting, you'll always download two things. The first will be the database and the second will be the website files. And so once I'm in PHP my admin, I just need to click on the database in question, which is right here on the left. And if I had multiple websites on this hosting account, then there would be multiple databases listed here. But since there's just one, I just click on that. And then once that's selected, we can just go to export, which is how you create a backup. And if you're transferring it to another cPanel hosting account like I am, then you can just do the quick method and click export. But the way I learned to do it is to go to custom and to add the drop table, which is apparently necessary if you're going to be moving it to a self-hosted VPS. A VPS is a virtual private server, and there definitely are advantages to having your own VPS, but it also comes with additional responsibilities, and you have to really have the knowledge of how to keep it secure and put more time into maintaining it. So I prefer to use web hosting like this, but I still like to do this when I back it up just in case. And then I'm gonna scroll all the way down and say export. And I just saved that to my hard drive and you can use whatever type of file naming system you want. What I usually do is I just put the date of the backup in front of the database name or the, or the website name and I save it like that so it's easy to catalog. And now I'm done with PHP my admin. So I'll move to the cPanel file manager here. And the way this cPanel web host account is set up is that I can have multiple websites on the one account. I only have one on this one and when you only have one website on a cPanel account or when it's the main website on a cPanel account, then all of the website files will be in the public HTML folder. So I just need to select that. And if I had multiple websites on this account, then the website names would be in separate folders underneath of public HTML. And I would just be able to back those websites up the same way that I'm gonna do right here. And so all I need to do is click anywhere in here and then I'll say select all and then compress. And that's going to create a compressed file with everything that I just selected. And I like to use the gzipped tar archive, which is just an efficient way of compressing. So I'll select that. And then I say compress files. And this can take a while if it's a large website, but this is a pretty small website, so it didn't take very long at all. And it tends to name the zipped file after the top file or folder that's in here. 
And so I'm just gonna right click on this and say rename, and then I will rename it. And now I can right click on this again and download it. And again, if it's a large website, then that could be a very big file. So it might take a minute to download, but in this case, it's very small, so it's not an issue. And then once the download is finished, I like to delete the backup file because it's not really a good security practice to keep backups on your server. If you wanna store your backups online, then you should probably store them on a different cloud storage. In fact, there are WordPress plugins that automatically back your website up to external storage. So I'll just select that file and then say delete, and you can skip the trash and permanently delete it, but I just usually do the normal delete. And now we have completely manually backed up the WordPress website. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or if I missed anything in the comments. Like and subscribe, share this video with anyone who might find it helpful, and I'll catch you in the next one.